But it sounds, it sounds new... like this rocket is about to take off, so we're going to pause you okay. there and see this final 30 seconds of countdown. We can hear the cheers now. I am going to keep quiet and let us all enjoy this launch. Aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Max Q. Lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. Hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be set down of the first stage. The Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With set down, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now, after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. You're watching GB News. We're just witnessing the largest rocket ever built take off from Boca Chica, Texas and launch into the sky. They're now attempting something called stage separation. I'm joined by planetary scientist Andrew Lowndes. And uh, Andy, what is stage separation? This is where the, the first stage swi it switches its engines off uh, and it's coasting. It's an unusual procedure they're doing for this one, something that other rockets don't do. It actually, the rocket actually flips in this particular case to get it into the right position it wants to because it has phenomenal controls. And what it will do is it'll, it'll drop the first stage, which is the main booster, and that will fall away. And the second stage will ignite its engines, which should ignite and then carry it on to its, its main cruise phase. So that's what we're trying to see at the moment. I'm just looking at the... Um, at the timing of the systems here. I'm just wondering if everything has gone well. Oh, we got this big flare happening here at the moment. It looks like this is the booster that is returning to Earth. Uh, we're assuming the top stage of Starship has, uh, is still up there in space. Bit of an unclear picture here. We're trying yeah. to as best we can to see exactly what's going on. 
People still cheering, however, in the SpaceX they must feel headquarters. That they, That's the, a good the sign, surely. They have fired correctly. Andy, what do we think has been going on with this booster? There seemed to be some, uh, some, some, some heat burn around it as it was returning to Earth. Yeah, that's what happens, because what you have is you still have some material uh, flowing out of it, and that tends to flow back on it as it's beginning to fall back down. And that, that's perfectly normal. You see that a lot with boosters when they separate and start to fall back down again. So there's nothing unusual with that at all. Um, so you always, you always get a little bit. You always have that with everything else, because, of course, it's losing its momentum and starting to fall back down. And then the... Um, so that's that's absolutely normal. You 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 get that on on, on stage separations. And so of course, when the stage separates, then then you got the big flare from the second stage, and that causes a big flare in the sky itself, which is which is quite remarkable.